Okay, everybody. It's Brent in Central Arkansas. Let's do a greenhouse update. This is what it looks like in here now. I've got five Fawn 2 platforms done. I've got two more to do on the very end there. So it's a work in progress. I've got um, I've got it planted out here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and show you how we got to this point and how I constructed these. And uh, there's a couple more changes and whatnot. Um, and I'll bring you back. All right, it's Fawn 2.0, and we're going to make a couple more changes and uh, lower them and start setting them in place and getting them ready for spring. First thing we're going to do is going to lower it to ground level, or not ground level, but the cinder blocks on their sides. Okay, it's lowered down to the ground. Now we need to blow it out, clean all the stuff out, and add plastic. We can't do any water leveling until we get water in it, and then... Water is the most perfect level, so we'll level it at that point. All right, now I've taken panda plastic. It's a plastic that's about uh, five and a half mil thick. It's black on one side and white on the other side, and that's what I lined it with. I lined it with the white, as you can see, so I can kind of see how things are looking in there. And I cut the valve out there. I filled it with water to water level it as it came up. And then I stapled the sides, and uh, as you can see here, and the water level will never come above half of these sides here. And leveled it out. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the way. Uh, that's the thickness. There it is with my hand. Eh, I'd say it's about five inches deep. Now it can go about an inch uh, higher if needed. As I'm doing away with the old fawn systems here, you can see it's two by four supported by gutters that uh, did the wicking and the draining and all that. I, uh, I have leftover gutters and I'm gonna use them in a couple different ways. One, I'm gonna do uh, probably some flow to waste situations. And also I'm going to do some shallow water culture within the Fawn 2.0 and I'll show you what I mean by that. I took my gutters and I'm going to reuse them from my Fawn 1. I cleaned them up and I cut them from 10 foot to 8 foot here and I put them in here and I put holes on both sides and now that'll become clear in a minute why I did that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a shallow water culture in addition to a wicking slash up to deep water culture on the sides but i have grown in, in these gutters directly before broccoli and even cabbage successfully bok choy pak choy uh, lettuce and many other things so that's the point of putting this in the middle and when i'm done it should be um well we'll just kind of say hidden uh it'll be uh hopefully a pretty neat addition for me now let me show you how i'm gonna feed well first before i do that i've got it secured on the ends here on both ends and that supports the ends and now i need to support the middle so i'm going to put some eye bolts in there and run some tomato twine at the halfway mark to support that and then after that i'm going to show you how i'm going to feed the uh, shallow water culture and the bed and there's the center supported with these uh, highlight loops, screws, whatever you want to call it, tied to a trucker's hitch. And that'll support the middle. And when I put the foam on top here, that'll keep this from rocking in the direction. So it'll be pretty dang stable. All right. I have got the feed uh, system set up. And all that is is the same exactly the same PVC line with top head grommets and quarter inch vinyl tubing that I used on the Fawn 1.0s. These were on the side and they came out and they went, in, they went into buckets. And this time I have them coming in here 
and they're going to feed into the trough and when they get full they're going to overflow back down into this area here and then they'll drain back out here down out the hole and back into the reservoir fawn 2.0 uh, so let me see, let me sh explain how this is going to work. Let me go to the other side. You'll see here that this one has three top hat grommets installed, and they're waiting for three of these vinyl lines. Okay, so let's come around here and let's pretend that this is the Fawn 2.0 that's before this one. And I, I just connect it so you can see that this would connect into the drain hole of another one and it'd be a one long line. So if we take this pipe, this three quarter inch pipe, and we put three uh, top head grommets and, vi and vinyl quarter inch lines and we run it through here, the three that come out of here, we run it through here, through the three quarter inch line here, up and around, out of here, comes out of the drain where it drains out and goes into here, I can feed through a three quarter inch PVC supply line, I can feed it, and each one of the fawn platforms would get three lines that are pumped from the pump. So I've got seven, there's going to be seven fawn 2.0s, each one, there'll be 21 lines. Those three lines are gonna come out through here, uh, it's gonna feed or it's going to go into here, it's going to feed this entire three quarter inch PVC. Once it becomes uh, full, it'll start pumping out through these little lines here and it'll spread all the way down. So that is how I'm going to supply the nutrient to each fawn platform. Now, I'm also going to run a separate vinyl line that's going to come through here and out here, and that's going to be an air hose. So four lines are going to come out of each of these uh, connections here and into here and uh, this there won't be any this much separation when I get done and this fitting will be pressed it'll be a nice neat line all the way down and there won't be any it'll just be one inch and a half inch pipe all the way down and this is what the finished product is going to look like and you can see here that these are 12 inches apart It'll grow one or even two tomato vines up here and it, it rests on the bottom, especially after it's full. <clears throat> right now there's a little bit floaty because of the plastic, but um, it'll rest on there. And then these have the access to the gutter, full access for shallow water culture. culture. So there's uh, more than 12 inches from this way. There's 12 inches this way. And if it's just one vine, one or two vines, and so on on either side, that gives plenty of space to grow a nice big brassica of some sort, like a broccoli or a cabbage maybe. So that's the intent of doing that. And also, whenever you do anything carrying it forward, I had such good success with Fawn 1.0 and I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to keep an aspect of it. And that's the reason why I designed it the way I designed it. Now this is, my containers in fact it's not even been washed yet and it is resting on this which is resting on the bottom and you can see that there's a divot there and the full weight of it will be sitting on one of the other one gallon pots there now instead of routing one of them back into the gutter um, I'm feeding it up to this pot here, that way it'll water down, just like it did in the fa original fawn. So this way I can grow some things that absolutely do not like wet feet and grow well, like potatoes and carrots and anything else I want to grow directly on the fawn 2.0 platforms. So that's why I did that and everything is coming together really nice. I need to get all seven of these built uh, and um, get it started because spring is almost here. I've got five Fawn 2.0s done and um, I need to do two more and you can see the sixth one 
is in the works right now but we have some cold coming and I've got the tomatoes over there and I need to um, protect them some and being in the fawn system will definitely help protect them the insulation between the boards and basically the whole root system will be uh, uh, moderated by the water temperature quite a bit so I need to do that um, I don't think it's going to get to freezing level but uh, the tomatoes over there are too big of an investment at this point to risk so I'm going to do that and uh, I'll show you that All right, I've got two one gallon measures of nutrient on the right hand side there. The green is Master Blend 41838 and Epsom salt, enough for 150 gallons. I have put it in there and uh, mixed it with hot water. Or I put hot water in it and then I shook it. On the left side is calcium nitrate, calcinate. I uh, get both of those. Um, I get Calcinate and Master Blend from Oregon County Seeds, and I get Epsom salt from Walmart. So I just mix those up. That's 150 gallons worth, and I'm going to pour them into a solo cup and slowly into each bed until I bring the PPM up to where I want it. Got the lid off, and I've got the Master Blend and Epsom salt there. Put it in a solo cup, and I'm just going to pour it in. And because it's plastic, I don't want to put anything sharp in there. I'm just going to mix it with my hand. All right, we have got it all in there nice and mixed. And um, let's see what the PPMs are now. The PPMs are going to strengthen a little bit over time. Let's see here. It's at 325. 328 yeah it's going up 332 and I also added it in here and they're probably yeah this is not going to be as strong so yep this will get uh, this will go up a little bit I suspect probably close to 500 and that's fine I may strengthen a little bit more um, in a little bit after I do all the other tables but You'll notice there that there's debris in the bottom, and that's okay if you've ever watched any of my fawns. The debris that sinks to the bottom or the debris that floats to the top won't return in the system, so it won't be a big issue. And um, once a year, I just change out the liner, and it should be all that's necessary. So, uh, yep, let's continue. All right, I decided to add more to it. I want to bring it up close to 900 starting out and uh, it's it's not going to be recirculating just yet obviously until all the all of them are done and the pumps placed in there but it'll serve as like a wicking sort of sort of cracky but it's more wicking uh, type system uh, shallow water culture if you will it's um, kind of bits and pieces of all that until I get the pump going also, I forgot to tell you that I'm using the bubbles to mix it while I'm doing other stuff. You can see the plants over to the left. I'm getting them ready to put in here. Thank you, Kerbits need to be planted out. <laughs> These little cells are not enough space. I did manage to get some bottle gourds. Two of the three have popped up, so that's good. None on the cucamelon back there which is that row, but I planted for the rest of the seed four more cells, so who knows, we'll see. Alright, also what I did was I planted a cabbage and a broccoli every other one in the center there. I have also gotten some of the tomatoes that are going to go in the ground started. That's just a start. I've got some more over there that are tomatoes and peppers. Uh, some over there and I've got along this wall here I've got um, I guess you'd call it flow to waste drain to waste um, and basically all that's going to be is a container where you put <clears throat> hydroponic nutrient in the top 
and it flows out onto the ground. So we're going to do that. I need to time that and set that up. So that's one of the things in the works. You can see I've got all my tools and everything set up over there. I still have some brassicas in the back uh, for spares in case these don't go, go very well. Um, so that's pretty much it. This has been a long enough video with everything I've explained. This is Brent, you guys. We'll see you later.